What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and I have a really exciting unboxing to do for you guys today. Uh, it's kind of a massive unboxing. I've got one package, two package, and three packages to unbox. Um, two of these are Passerone group knives and one is a knife that I bought. Uh, so we'll go with the one that I bought first. Um, but yeah, that just the mail ended up coming like this. Uh, actually, I was uh away saturday into sunday at my fiance's house or my fiance's parents house uh so i wasn't home much on saturday but this was waiting for me when i got home uh yesterday on sunday and then today when i got home from work i was expecting this package but then this big box was awaiting me as well and i thought it was going to get here later in the week but it ended up today so i just got a, a really ginormous unboxing for you guys the unboxing knife is the giant mouse ace eight layer eight layer the baby grand basically uh if you guys caught my video before this video uh, i go over my full review on this knife uh definitely a really sweet knife probably one of my favorites so far out of giant mouse so we're using it one last time before i send it away for some uh unboxing purposes but the first knife that i'm unboxing here is a knife from quiet carry now you guys have, you know, if you've been longtime viewers of the channel, um, or even recent viewers of the channel, I've had some quiet carry knives, you know, posted on, you know, four views. I currently have two in the collection, now three, uh, and I've also done, so I have the Waypoint in the collection. I've done a couple different videos on those because I've had one in beforehand, but I have that in the collection. I have the Chase in the collection with the thumb studs, which is really cool. Now I have this knife in the collection, which I'll get to in a second. And then I've also done reviews on the Drift, which is really good, and the uh, the Nine, which is really really good. So I'm a big fan of Quiet Carry. I think they make fantastic knives, um, really cool stuff. And this knife is one that I've had my eye on for a while, um, you know, for probably two years or so by now. I just never pulled the trigger on it, but I got an email saying that this is a discontinued model and they were all half off. Um, and this model is none other than the Eddie. So this is a very small knife. I believe the blade is like 2.4, 2.5 inches. Um, and it's just a little liner lock that I just thought would be, I've always kind of had like my eye on it because I just thought it looked cool. Uh, and then when I saw that it was 50% off, I was like, you know what? That's too good of a deal. They're normally $99.99 for the 20 CV versions um, in the non serrated blade. And then I think the um, partially serrated LC200N versions were like, 129 130 something like that um so i ended up getting the 20 cv version for like 50 bucks uh like 55 with shipping but it was just too good of a deal to pass up i uh, got a quiet carry sticker got a quiet carry uh microfiber and then looks like i got my invoice paper right here so i'll toss this all to the side uh now the one downside to this is i had to choose from pink or orange um they also they you know they had gray black I think one other color, but those were all sold out. Um, I think they've been sold out for quite a while. Um, this should just pull out, but I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. There we go. All right, so I pulled out. Lifetime warranty card. You know, same old stuff with the, the quiet carry unboxing. And then there is a knife nicely packaged in there. And I got this knife because I think that this is going to be a very, very nice little shorts carry in the summertime. You know, it's, it's almost May here in Western PA. Uh, I'm going to be in gym shorts and, you know, khakis and stuff like this a lot. And, I mean, it's it's a small knife. Uh, if you guys might be familiar, you know, with size on the Baby Grand. And it's, I mean, it's nice and small and slim. And I had to go with pink. I, I went with pink because I figured it was a little bit lighter than orange. So it would kind of pick up on some rit dye uh, a little bit easier. And that's fully what I plan on doing with this knife. I'm going to rit dye it. I have some blue stuff, uh, some blue and some green, maybe some teal coloring to it. To try to make it a little bit purple, um, something other than pink. But yeah, just a nice, small, slim. They're a beautiful pot clip that I love. I love their wire pot clips. Um, and this is made for a slow roll knife. You guys can see right there, it comes out. Very simple blade shape, just comes out kind of a drop point with a little bit of a, a drop off tip up here, but 
There is the 20 CD. It's getting a glare, but real thin behind the edge. Um, actually really good ergonomically. Uh, you do have a little bit of a choke up point right here with a choil you can use. In a fifth grade in the hand, I can definitely get all four fingers on there. So that's really nice. Uh, and even choke back, I can kind of get three and a half fingers on there. But liner lock, definitely a slow roll knife. But yeah, I think this thing is going to be fantastic. Like this thing just disappears in your pocket. Um, so I pulled the trigger on it. It's going to be a great little summer, you know, EDC, little shorts carry. And I can't wait to get a writ die on there and to um, make this a little bit more personable. Get a little bit different of a colorway going. No blade play at all. Nice and smooth on washers. So, yeah, this is sweet. Uh, like I said, I've had my eye on one of these for a while. And now that I finally have it, um, I'm not disappointed. Feels great in hand. Uh, 20 CV is a fantastic EDC steel. Um, can you middle finger flick it? No. Nope. You kind of can't. Maybe once it gets broken in, maybe on the full review, I'll try to middle finger flick it. But oh, there we go. If you get it good enough, it'll come out. But, um, yeah, that is a quiet carrot eddy. So we'll set this off to the side here. Going to run out of space with all these boxes I'm going to have. Um, next up is this package, and this is coming from said Stevie. And this is a Tuya knife. So I'm not super familiar. Um, you know, I've never had too many Tuyas on the channel, if, if any at all, I don't think. Um, but this is a model that Kevin over Left EDC got in. And here's a bunch of Stevie stickers, which is cool. I'll take one or two and keep them in the pass around or keep them in the package for the pass around. But it is a package inside of a package. Comes in a hard shell box. Toss this over there. Um, as I was saying, this is a uh, lefty pass around knife. Um, it is the NV4 which is in, I believe, S90V, and this specific version is in Purple, fa purple Haze Fat Carbon. Um, it's a worn cliff sort of sheep style blade, and I thought it looked really good. So when I saw Kevin added it to the, um, the pass around, I was like, I got to jump on it, check it out. But here is Tuya Knife. Kevin has had a ton of Tuyas on the channel before, um, so if you want to go check his channel out for different stuff. Um, but like I said, I think this is the first one I've handled. And, you know, some of their designs have been a little bit different. Um, I've been intrigued by a couple of them. No, I take that back. Uh, the Big Belly. I've had the Big Belly on the channel. Um, I think that was the first Tuya. Um, that, was a, that was a cool knife. It was a crossbar lock. Um, I think it was a carbon, I think it was a full carbon, like, integral knife. Um, but it was super cool. Now that, I, now that I think about it and I remember it, that definitely, um, that was the first Tuya that I had on the channel. But toss this back in here. And here is the knife, guys. So see dual thumb studs. It is a frame lock, that milled tie pocket clip. Those beautiful inlays of purple phase, purple phase, purple haze fat carbon right there. Give it a flick. Oh, it flies out of there. That beautiful Warncliffe style blade. It's a mixture between a Warncliffe and a sheep's foot, in my opinion. Um, it looks really, really good. Has a very nice tip. Has a beautiful machine grind, uh, machine satin. Looks really good. There's a Tuya logo. Um, yeah, so S90V, which is really cool. Right there. Plenty of lock bar access to get your thumb in. No blade play. Drops. Has a fantastic detent. This thing is snappy, but feels really good. Try it lefty. Flies out of there. Very snappy, very nice thumb studs. Um, they're kind of stacked a little bit different, which is cool. It's definitely a unique style to put on your thumb stud, but fires out of there. I will say I the thumb studs are very easy to catch on to, but after flicking it a few times, it definitely can tear into your thumb or middle finger. Um, but once you get used to it, I'm sure it's not going to be bad. Uh, just kind of something I, I noticed right off the bat. But very, very smooth action. And like I said, no blade play. Um, so this thing is tuned up very nicely. Ergos are really good. 
Um, I'll get more specs on, you know, when I do the reviews and stuff like this, but I believe it's like a 3.4, 3.5 inch blade. Uh, seems to be right around there, but um, very smooth, very snappy, great action. I've been really excited to check this out ever since I got on the list. So this was definitely an anticipated model. But yeah, this is the Tuya NV4, I believe. So keep an eye out for that. And then last, but certainly not least, we have a package coming from Casey over at Knives Fast. And I believe there are three knives in here. Um, one is, I believe, the Devo Knives Lush prototype, which I am very, 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 very excited for. Uh, it's the, one of their newer models they're coming out with. It's basically the Barley, which is their slip, uh, slip joint knife that they're doing in collaboration with Urban EDC Supply. It's that, but a locking version with a like top front flipper uh, apparatus, as Jason over at Puerto Rican with a knife likes to say. Um, but it's really, really cool looking. It's in, I don't know if this one's in blue, um, Arctic Storm or uh, blue fat carbon. I forget what the name of it is. Um, but I'm really excited for that one. And then the other two knives are uh, EMP EDC knives. I believe one is the Ronin prototype and the other one should be the Nimble X V2. Um, so I'm quite excited for those. Did I unbox this the wrong way? No. Just have to slice down here on the side. Is that taped on there? Oh, it's taped on there. Whoops. All right, so I cut the tape on the uh, wrong side. You'll have that sometimes, but nothing we can't fix. That's what a knife's for, of course. You can bubble wrap this bad boy up real nice. So I'm going to set this here off to the side. Uh, all right, so there, I believe, is the Devo. Here is, no, I'm sorry, these are not, now that I think about it, these are two Kaiser knives. These are not the uh, Nimble and Ronin. Sorry, got sidetracked there because I was confused because there's a lot of stickers in here. Um, so you have Knives Fast, a couple of those. You have a traditional pocket knives, uh, their jigged hedgehog. You have TPK, um, kind of a funny sticker. And then more traditional pocket knives. There is the exclusive jigged penguin. That's what kind of threw me for a loop because I don't know why these are all in here. Um, if these are all the little like things you get from traditional pocket knives. Like I have one here for just them. Penguin Plus, Penguin Mini, uh, again, just them, the Ohio River Jack, the uh, exclusive bear and rock walls, and then the hedgehog. So I don't know why those were in there. Um, but like I said, I was not, I was wrong on the other two um, knives that I was getting from them. It was not the uh, two um, EMP EDC, but it was two Kaisers, which I'm still really excited for. Um, you have the Sparrow here which is a newer model. I believe this is the one with a flipper tab and a hole for deployment, which is a design of someone that does custom designs. Um, Vincent Rizzo, but I'm forgetting Black, Blackbird Designs, maybe something like that. Uh, and then over here you have the uh, Kabold 2, which I'm never, you know, I've never really heard too much about the Kabold before this version, uh, but this one seems really cool too. Uh, but the cream of the crop, in my opinion, uh, the one I'm most excited for is in this case right here in this beautiful Devo pouch. And we are going to finally get to check out the Lush. It's wrapped up here. Oh boy, I'm loving it already, just, just from looking at it. Um, can you guys tell I'm very, very excited? Here it is. So it's rocking the, I think this is, I don't know if this is Arctic Storm. Um, I get my fat carbons confused a little bit, um, but it also, you know, has blue and grays and blacks, but wire deep carry clip that I like, Look, it just fits this knife so well. Uh, it is lefty friendly. You have a fuller right here. Then you also have this top flipper slash front flipper. Uh, flies right out of there. 
Oh, and this thing fits in my hand so well, guys. Uh, just this blade shape is beautiful. It's a hollow grind, very, very thin behind the edge, but you do have a little bit, you know, you have some decent blade stock back there, but it comes down so thin. Um, that fuller running on both sides looks awesome. It is a bolster lock. Drops to your nail. Try the top flip. Oh, this thing is... I've said it for a, quite a while that this is possibly the most, you know, my most favorite Devo design that I've come out with so far um, or, you know, upcoming designs. There's just something about it that is just, it fits me so well. You know, the hand uh, placement is awesome. You just get a very, very usable blade. Um, it's very, very nice, very droppy, very smooth. No blade play at all. I love this thing already. I will definitely, I don't know when the pre-order is. Um, I'll try to get some of that information maybe from Kevin if I happen to know it by then. Little finger flick. Um, before I do my full review on this because then that way I can give you guys some information on it. But this thing is is baller. Um, I love the barley, but I'm not a huge slip joint fan. Um, so this, when they came out with it, it's just something about it. It's just sexy. Yeah. Misfired there a few times, but really, really good. Front flipper, sort of top flipper thing works. Apparatus works well. You can't really uh, do like the reach around thing just because you don't have a whole lot of uh, tab to hold on to, but you just kind of catch up top here and it fires it open. And then the middle finger flick also works really well, but just a beautiful design. Um, this thing is going to be catching a lot of pocket time over the next two weeks or so that I have it. Um, fantastic knife. Cannot wait for the, the pre-order or the drop. I don't know what they're doing on this yet, but um, this is the Devo Knives Lush Prototype. So set that off to the side. And then we'll dive into these last two Kaisers. This is starting, this is going to be a 20 minute video, so I apologize about that. But I had a lot of stuff to talk about and a lot of knives to go through. You have a uh, couple Kaiser stickers here. Set those off to the side. The typical pamphlet of Kaiser stuff. And there might be a, yep, there's a microfiber in there. Extra hardware. And then here is the main event, the knife. Put that over there. Stick this all back in the package. I'm starting to get a lot of boxes here. Um, I said I didn't have any loaners for a while. And all of a sudden, I just started getting loaners um, left and right, which is a good thing. More content for you guys. Um, but here is the Sparrow. Flipper tab up top there. Hole for deployment. You can switch your pocket. No, sorry. I thought this was a lefty carry, but it's a righty only carry, which I don't really understand why you couldn't have milled clips through there or clip or sc screw holes through there. But nice detent. Fall shut. Um, this one has the lines on the blade, which I know one version has no lines and one does. I forgot Kevin got the line version. Um, if I were to buy one personally, I would probably buy the non-line version, but it's definitely, you know, interesting. I don't know the whole story behind it, so I'll have to try to, you know, read up on that or ask somebody before I do my full review, but it's, kind of, it's not, you know, it's not the best looking thing in the world, but it's definitely not the ugliest, um, but very smooth on drop. No blade play at all. Liner lock, middle finger flick. Very nice detent. Um, you know, Kaiser typically kills it with their detents and their actions, which is really cool. But thumb flick it. Uh, I can fit all four fingers on here. Pretty ergonomically friendly. Um, and then you can also use this little choke up sort of landing choil point up here um, for more precise cuts. But it's a small knife. Um, overall, I think it's a, yeah, it's a 2.9 inch blade. Uh, so right around that three inch blade mark, which is kind of my sweet spot. But yeah, cool knife. It's a little bit thick. That's my one sort of first takeaway uh, is it's a little thick, but in hand it feels good. You know, you can't really feel it too much, but 154 CM, um, you know, typical Kaiser quality. Kaiser's been killing it recently. And then last but not least is the Cobalt 2, which we will open up right here. And again, I, I'm sorry, guys, this is going to be a long unboxing video, but um, I had some stuff to talk about, of course. And you get the same, you know, paperwork, stickers, uh, extra hardware with the knife, so I don't even really need to show that to you guys. But stick that in there, in here, and then in here. Try not to lose anything. I'm gonna have to pick up my mess. 
and make sure all my stuff gets put where it's supposed to go when I'm after when I'm done with this video. But here is the Kabold 2. You have your hole for deployment and a front flipper tab. You have a reversible, no, not reversible. I wonder why they're not doing that with these knives. Um, but a milled titanium pot clip that sits pretty well. I like the way they kind of have it um, sort of like jimped right in there. Um, but my Carta, my Carta feels really good. Um, both of these feel really, really good. I like how Kaiser does their micarta. Little finger flick. Flies right out of there. Excuse me. Then you have this beautiful... It's kind of a... I mean, it's a straight upswept kind of blade, but it's kind of a, a Warncliffe style sheep's foot um, with like a rhino nose here at the end. Uh, it's definitely intriguing. Cabal 2 right there. Uh, 154cm with the Kaiser logo right there. I think this is a designer's logo. It's a liner lock with lots of lock bar cutout access, which is really nice. And look, oh my, oh my God, did you guys see that action? A little bit of blade play, but I mean, just a drop shutter. Oh, that is really, really smooth. I mean, I barely have to get my, my finger out of the way. Drops to your nail, get your finger out of the way, turn it just a little bit and it's bang, it's closed. Fires out of there, lefty, middle finger flick. Um, yeah, this thing is sick. What's the, what's the blade length on here? Uh, 3.65 inches. This is a little bit big for me, um, but if this was like, if they made a version of this, kind of a mini version, and like a three and a quarter inch blade, 3.3 inch blade, uh, I would be all over this because I like the way the blade looks. Um, it's unique, uh, very comfortable in hand. You can choke back and get all four fingers on there, choke up and have that nice area. Um, it, it, this thing fits the hand so well, and that action is just buttery smooth. Middle or, uh, thumb flick, drop, middle finger flick, or sorry, front flip, middle finger flick. Uh, this thing is fidgety as hell. Uh, I might try to take or tighten up the uh, pivot a little bit, but man, this thing is is awesome. Um, so this is the Kaiser Cabal 2. Pretty, you know, pretty massive unboxing, guys. Um, this is a 22-minute unboxing, so I really do apologize for being on the longer side. But I didn't want to do, you know, a couple small different videos. Um, sometimes I feel like I should do that more so just to make easier content for you guys to watch because um, these videos always end up a little bit too long. Uh, I'm going to try to start making my reviews a little bit shorter, um, you know, around 15 minutes instead of that 20-minute mark. Um, you know, again, easier for you guys. But I uh, hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, I definitely got some dope knives in. Got the Kaiser Cabal 2, the Kaiser Sparrow, the Devo Knives Lush Prototype, the uh, Quad Carry Eddie, and then the Tuya NV4. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I've already rambled enough for y'all. Um, but thank you guys again so much for watching. Links will be in the description down below. You guys have heard me, you know, heard me enough by now. Um, discount codes. I'm probably not going to leave links to all of these until... Um, in this video until I do my full review and then I'll leave them in their, you know, specific video, but um, I just don't want to overwhelm you, overwhelm you guys. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning, day, evening, whenever, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.